everybody. How are you doing? I'm glad you're here in my kitchen once again. And right on cue, my little dog Hitch is here. He loves it whenever I make these videos. I'm making a side dish. I am making a Philadelphia cream cheese fettuccine Alfredo with asparagus. Okay? But I have a little twist for you. I'm using rice noodles. And I want to get those started. Rice noodles are so easy to work with. You don't even have to boil the water. And what I have over here is a pot of not boiling water right before it boils. Or bring it to a boil and then turn it way down low. And we're going to keep this in here not very long at all. Okay? But I wanted to get that started first. And I also have some, uh, a stick of butter. Oh my goodness, I was channeling Paula Dean just then. A stick of butter. And I am melting that in this skillet. Okay, let's give this a little zhuzh. One of my favorite kitchen words, zhuzh. One of my Facebook friends said that they burnt their microwave popcorn. One of the first questions I asked was, well, did you zhuzh it? And he's like, zhuzh? Really? I'm like, yeah. Anyway. So now, while those rice noodles are doing their thing, and see, you walk away from that. You have to come back to this because it doesn't like to be in that hot water for very long, only about five minutes, but we'll be right here. So I'm grating some onion and I'm going to add it to the stick of butter in here. And I just turned down the burner. You know, you, you have these little knobs, you need to use them, okay? So that's what I tell my friends all the time can't cook on high. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take this beautiful grated onion and throw it right in here. Try to get that onion juice that's on the board right there. Put that into the party too. Okay, now we have these beautiful asparagus. I love asparagus. These are the thin asparagus. So if you chop them up fairly well and throw them right in, it only takes a minute to cook. And you don't want them to cook, you know, until they're mushy, do you? Maybe you are one of those people. I don't know. Do it the way you want to. But eat your asparagus. It's so good. All right, we're putting it right in here. We're going to leave these tips for the very top for our garnish, okay? Because they're just they're just so fabulous, aren't they? Okay. In they go. Now, I'm going to add my Philadelphia cream cheese. Okay. This is such a wonderfully easy, let's put a little salt in there, wonderfully easy side dish on a work night. Go by and get you one of those rotisserie chickens, right? Throw this together. Vegetables and your pasta all in one. That's a good deal. Alrighty. These rice noodles are complete. They are, they are done. Stick a fork in them, they are done. So give me one second. I'm going to go right over here. And drain these rice noodles. Look at this. Look how bright, bright and white they are. Okay? So, now, this right here is, is, is done. All right? going to add this Philly cream cheese. And we're going to meld this together. We're going to we're going to spend a little bit of time here, okay? So, I'll be right back. All right, now here we are back and I wanted to take a moment to pay attention to my sauce and I added a quarter cup of the rice 
new water from it in, in here. And you're going to have to do the same thing, okay? You're going to have to adjust your spices a little bit. Now I put a little bit of red pepper flakes in there because I want to. And this is garlic powder and onion powder and finish it with a little salt, okay? Stir that up. Luscious, silky, with those beautiful chunks of artichoke in here. Asparagus. Not artichoke, asparagus. Okay, and here's our beautiful rice noodles here. Look at that. Is that not a beautiful thing? Look how beautiful and white that is. And we are going to plate this. And we'll put a nice presentation of rice noodles on our platter. Okay. Very nice. Then, our beautiful sauce, and we're just going to pour it right over the top. See that sauce? Put a little hole in there, get some down there, you think? Uh-huh. All over. A little bit better of a grip. Okay? Who could resist this? Okay? Put this over here. Garnish it with a little bit of the asparagus. Okay? And my daughter said it would pair nicely with salmon. So she wanted me to make some salmon. So here we are. I really hope you make this. Your family is going to come to the table and say, what? This is delicious. You made this, Mom? Dad? And you see how very little work there was involved. Okay? Bye-bye.